just going to do a little review of 7.6. Um, kind of just looking at, is there a way I can, no, I guess I can't get rid of the little bar at the bottom while paused. No, that's unfortunate. So, okay, start the IL. Looking good so far. And it lags a little bit, even frame by frame. Um, so, let's see here. Does it jump? So, skipping a little bit of the text box time there. As you can see, the timer has not started when I get the text box. Uh, so that should be good. Maybe you could get a little further. Um, I, I feel like this jump, uh, let's, let's just look at the jump here. Yeah, it was like a very small jump. Um, obviously, you have to kind of time it with when the timer actually starts, but I don't know. I feel like maybe there's a little to save there. Uh, text box you don't care about. Okay. I start walking, what is this, one, two, three, four frames later. So, you know, time save there. Set up my camera for the angle before I've even started walking, essentially. Uh, dash. I jump right at the edge there. You can jump at the bottom of this little platform on uh, on this portion here, but I find that slower. So uh, I don't know. I normally just jump right at the start. Uh, I, I think the task jumps down at this this spot right here, but I don't know be a potential improvement I guess. Uh, go in. Now this one right here you can't do the frame perfect A presses um, on the slide because you'll actually be going I guess too fast and the timing doesn't work out. Uh, you won't be able to make it onto the sloped platform, the, the third one. Uh, so I wait, let's see here, what is this, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so like, you can see I press A on the 19th or 18th frame there. Um, basically what I'm trying to do on this particular attempt, you don't have to do it, but what I am trying to do is it makes it easier for yourself if you get this fruit um, because the bigger egg allows you to get uh, more consistent at the little or at uh, not doing a recovery on the green slope later on and also uh, you can you know start you have a bigger egg so the hoops kind of pick you up better uh, it's just sort of like a safety thing I don't know that it's faster or slower in any way. Maybe a little slower just because your egg grows while you're on the slide, which slows you down a little bit. But um, if I'm jumping when it grows, it shouldn't be a problem, so we'll see. Uh, so I jump once here after getting that fruit, right? And then again, on the edge of this platform, jump. Um, and we immediately jump here. Okay, I'm going to rotate Raleigh just a little bit here because instead of going straight ahead, which would lead me right to the like, corner of where those two X's meet, I want to be a little bit to the left. So, as you can see right here, I'm holding left on the GameCube controller um, before I jump to give me just a little bit of turn. Oops. Uh, okay, that'll get me up onto this platform. And I try to jump as soon as possible. So you can see I press the A like 
almost immediately. And now here I'm just holding left to try and get Raleigh to go into that green hoop. Uh, once I'm already in the air here, I readjust so you can see no longer holding left a few frames later. I'm holding up, which doesn't really do much, but, you know. Uh, the C stick, I might move that to change this camera. The camera looks fine, though, actually. Right here, what you want is your egg, right, is like on this line. It's going to get shifted over to the here when you land in the green hoop. And then you want to roll like straight vertically upwards along the spine here. Uh, so right now I'm like going into the void. That's a bad thing. But when I get shifted over to the left, I should be perfectly in line with the, the slide. So let's see. Okay. I bounce out of the hoop almost immediately. I roll right here is when I hit the roll button. Um, so that's the height at which it, I do it. It doesn't activate until like uh, two frames, like one, two, three frames later is when you can visually see that I'm rolling. Because um, Raleigh actually kind of slips into the egg there. Um, but I don't know, that might be input lag, that might be something else, but um, the game might just do that, I'm not sure. Anyway, I roll here. You can't get frame-perfect A presses here either. If you do frame-perfect A presses, you'll miss the green hoop. You'll go too far, um, if you do all three of them, that is, and you'll actually fall into the void and die, and you have to restart so the first one I do relatively soon, maybe like a frame or two after I land. Same thing here, frame or two after I land. Here, I'm, while in the air, I'm adjusting my camera to be better for the upcoming section. Uh, okay, I press A again, that's fine. Adjusting my camera even more, what I want to do is the same thing up the the middle actually more well middle right so we'll say of this portion here and here is the first time the frame perfect a presses actually you know are important uh, they can give you a lot more speed than waiting a little bit uh, because you maintain all of your momentum and there's no reason not to do them here so pretty much immediately press A. I roll on this frame. So it takes two frames or so. Now, you can see I'm rolling this direction, which looks like I might go off into the edge, but it's actually going to put me right up on the, uh, the spine here. Or it should. Oops. So I adjust a little by holding up left. Because I guess I did see that it might put me into the void. Um, then after the first jump, which is a that's a frame perfect jump it looked like, I hold just straight forward, you know. Uh, again, another frame perfect jump, and I want to land in this hoop, jump, and then immediately roll into the other one. Now, just to visualize the frame perfect jump, uh, let's go ahead and go back here. So you can actually see how the jumps on the platform after this one are different than the jumps on the next one. You can tell the speed difference. So that's normal. And that was the frame perfect one. You can see that they're, you know, much faster. Um, they conserve a lot of your speed. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not claiming to be able to do frame perfect things every time obviously but those are uh saving like i don't know uh two tenths of a second or something so they are important for an il setting um, 
Maybe a little less than that, actually, just thinking about it. But over the whole course of the slide, they do save quite a bit. So I roll into the next hoop. You can wait to roll and roll into or onto the actual slide itself. Do two frame perfect jumps and then roll to your up left, which would go into the green hoop on the left side. Now that would be good, but I found that strat was very uh, iffy. I tended to lose way too much speed to that. Uh, you know, back when I was trying to learn uh, this level. So if that might be an improvement, but I'm just so used to doing it this way that I haven't really adjusted from that. Again, I get thrown into this hoop. My camera is not perfect. As you can see, it's adjusted, you know, straight ahead here, uh, where the green hoop it, that I want to reach is up this way. So I'm not sure what I do here. Oh, as I get into the hoop, let's see, I don't, I adjust it now. Yeah, so I start adjusting it after I do my roll. Um, okay, I'm holding left here, which will enable me to kind of ride the left side of this, uh, you know, the ramp uh, over to the green hoop. Uh, so we do a jump. I waited quite a while for that jump. I don't know. There's no incentive to do it faster unless you're doing that other method that I mentioned. But here, the reason I waited is if you can get your second jump to not land on the edge and instead land in the green hoop, which, <laughs> wow, I just barely did that. Um, that helps. So here, I'm going to get placed in the hoop immediately, like first frame I jump out of this hoop, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm adjusting my camera to set me up for this roll here. When do I hit R? I hit R at this height, so like, I guess if you wanted a visual reference, the egg is at the top of the green hoop. Um, I roll, adjusting my camera during the rolls. Uh, to set me up for the next part. Oops. Uh, immediately jump out of that one. Roll again. Now, you can go up the left side here if you have like frame perfect jumps and all that. But what I've found. Oh, sorry, the, the mouse is on the video. Uh, what I've found best is just to go into the. Uh, front right hoop, the second one there, uh, by jumping once and then rolling in, or twice, maybe. I think I just do once and roll in. It's kind of weird. I, I don't really think about how many, you know, jumps I do, except on that one where you have to do three to get into the green hoop. You always have to do three, so I always kind of keep that in mind. But other than that, it's just kind of like muscle memory. So I jump out of this hoop, roll. I'm going to go into the front left one here, jump once, um, and then immediately jump out of this hoop, roll. Jump once, and then recover at the top of the slide. Um, I've never gotten an instant recovery on this edge in particular, at least I don't remember getting one. Uh, the problem is, if you did get one, I think you would might, you maybe would just slide down the slide, which isn't helpful. Uh, so, I don't know. So, I recover, and I land at 1987. So let's just watch the slide portion you know, in real time here, um, and sort of get a, a feel for, you know, seeing those things that I pointed out. So the jump again at the start, skip the text box, adjusting my camera, get the fruit, jump up these slides. Here, three on the right, yeah, frame perfect ones. 
Uh, yeah, I think I, that could be improved. Uh, slide over here. And then recover. Um, there, there are certainly places where that can be improved by small amounts. Uh, by doing other frame perfect jumps, for example, or uh, maybe doing those other strats that I mentioned, like the uh, skipping the green hoop right here. So instead of going into this green hoop, I could go onto the slide and do uh, two frame perfect jumps uh, while rolling to get me to the green hoop. Uh, I think the task does that. And it does, look, you know, it does seem faster, but I don't know. Uh, so here, I roll forward. Uh, I think that I might have missed a little bit here. Oh yeah, I missed a little bit. So I land, then immediately just start dashing over to the middle of this uh, little. I don't know, drop off thing here. I hit this egg, you know, it redirects me a little bit, but uh, I don't think it loses enough time to really be worried about it. I go forward here to make sure that when I do my jump, I'm like facing directly at it. So I go just to the left of the sign and jump. I want to ideally be aimed right at the bottom of this green uh, slope there, but you know I'm aimed a little left, so I think I adjust midair. Yeah, I'm holding upright. You can see. Um, then I correct to just up. Uh, Jump to hit there, but you know it's just a roll in, in the air, just a dash jump. So I land about halfway into this platform, yeah, even with this egg on the right, normally. Uh, looks like that's the case here. Um, that way, you know, you don't have to worry about the enemies, and you're going fast enough that this instant recovery is worth it. Speaking of the instant recovery, here I hit A, immediately recover off the egg. I, I'm waiting a few frames here just because my like brain isn't fast enough to catch up. Uh, but then I start dashing up the hill. Um, just like normal. Not, not the best movement. You know, I wasn't taking straight lines here. Um, or at least it doesn't seem like it when I'm going frame by frame. But overall pretty good. Here I wait. The egg pops up on this ledge right here, which can eat your jump. If you tried to jump right now, you'd die. So you wait until the egg kind of falls back down, and then you jump. So here, you can watch the controller uh, joystick. I'm holding forward, and then I hold middle a little bit, just to give myself enough space on this platform to skip recovering. Uh, so here I'm holding middle again, now I'm holding up. What you want to do, right, is recover with A, and as you can see, immediately after pressing A, I press R. So what I've done is recovered, then instantly rolled. And then I press A again at the end of the little platform here, and that will enable me to clear this gap. It looks like it just barely, but uh, it's a lot easier with this size egg than the small egg. Now here, this slope right here, uh, you can recover off of this, instant recover off this. So, if you wanted to, uh, you could come here to the middle, recover, then long jump, roll, and instant recover on the slope. And it would be, you know, similar timing, I would think. 
Um, maybe a little slower, but because we did the we skipped the recovery here. Uh, it's not fast to roll all the way to that slope. You're you're losing speed. You know the more you're here, and so you don't want to roll all the way to that slope. Instead, you just want to recover and you know keep going. So I recover. And then start going. I'm going to uh, play that back just uh, to see it in real time. So the instant recovery here, delay the jump, roll over, and recover. Um, that roll, that like skipping the recovery on that middle platform of the or the middle hedge there. It's actually quite difficult to do starting out, uh, but it definitely saves enough time to be worth doing. Um, you know, I, I don't know that it's essential if you're trying to get like uh, 50, 51 or 50 or so, but when you really start getting into the upper level of this IL, it becomes a necessary strat. Uh, so we start dashing immediately over to this edge. The right edge is, is the goal here. Um, we want to just clear this corner on this wall. And as you can see, my camera is pretty much lined up with that goal. So we're going to jump hold up left and just kind of slip right around this corner here. I think I bump into it a little bit. Yeah, I bump into it a little bit, but it's not bad. Uh, I get about halfway over or maybe just past halfway. I do a bounce and then I'm holding forward. What I want to do here yeah, this was actually, I didn't get very far. Normally you want to be like right here-ish. So the shorter this bounce is, uh, the less time it takes, you know. So here I am doing the bounce. I realize that I'm kind of short here. So what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the camera, enabling me to potentially roll onto this green or onto the other side here. Uh, so I adjust, get to right about this position, and then I roll onto the slope. Now that that's pretty close. I probably you know could have done that smarter, but uh, you know I clear the gap here. And at the bottom of this slope, you'll notice similar thing to before is where this flat portion of green hedge meets this sloped portion of green hedge, uh, you can instant recover there. You'll notice I go for said instant recovery. Here is when I hit A. So a frame or two early, you know, one, two, yeah, probably like, probably one or two frames early. Uh, so, you know, I don't get it. This wastes, you know, a uh, considerable amount of time, right? So, four or five, if I had gotten it, I'd be now running at four or seven, right? Or, or uh, theoretically, obviously, humans can't really react in, in that amount of time to whether or not they got it, but. Uh, if you wanted to preemptively, you know, say I'm going to get it and, you know, just start dashing immediately, then, you know, props to you. But essentially, this takes all the way up until the next second. So that's like half a second right there, just gone, if not more than half a second. Uh, so if you're looking to save time, that is probably the biggest spot. It's very difficult to do, you know, it's inconsistent to get that, but that would be really uh, 
you know, one way that you could save a lot of time on this IL. Another way um, is when you're actually coming around this gate, I've never seen it done on the right side before, but on the left side, you can just jump all the way around this thing. You can't hit any corners, you know, you can't, uh, you can't mess up at all. It's very precise, but you can apparently make it all the way over with a long jump. And if you did do that, oops, uh, if you did do that, then you could still recover uh, on the hill. You would be rolling down this hill here, right, and you could then instant recover, just like normal on this edge, saving, again, quite a lot of time. That would be, you know, maybe a second and a half, to two seconds of time save. It's a, it's a crazy amount. I've never gotten it. Um, I haven't tried it all that much, just because I've kind of uh, you know, it, it, I've tried it enough to know that it's very difficult and sort of gave up in that regard. But, uh, you know, for a real IL, it's something that should be considered uh, if we wanted to get it below 44 seconds or even below 43. Uh, so here I recover, I dash, I jump into this blue hoop. Uh, the blue hoop's faster, I find, than dashing on the left, like across here, and then jumping to the pillar. The blue hoop takes you there pretty easily. Um, and it sets you up, actually, for a pretty easy little time save here. When I get into the blue hoop, or actually before, I adjust my camera. You can see that. Uh, it's not really wasting time to do that, maybe a little bit, but what I do is I'm adjusting my camera oops, uh, so that I can see the next pillar. And the reason I do this is the second I land, I can skip recovering, long jumping, recovering, long jumping, and then recovering and getting the emblem. I can skip one of those recoveries by rolling when I land and then jumping at the edge of this pillar onto the next pillar. This stops a bat from spawning also, uh, which might be helpful um, if you're afraid of bats or something. Uh, but also it can get in your way, so that's definitely, you know, mitigating any potential reasons you can mess up the last three seconds of an IL is is uh, you know, always welcome, I would say. So here, just normal long jump to the end. Um, theoretically, and, and you know, in actuality, you could bounce here and do a bash attack while Raleigh's on the back side of the egg. And that might be faster than recovering and then jumping into the emblem. I, I mean, it would probably definitely be faster, but it, it's sort of hard to deal with because Raleigh's spinning around the egg. And also, when you bash attack, sometimes you'll slide back to where you're coming from type of thing. So, I don't know, it would have to be very planned out, I guess. And you'd have to get sort of lucky in that regard. So what I do, instead of bouncing here and then doing a, uh, you know, a dunk or whatever it's called, uh, I recover, and as you can see, I'm tapping the B button uh, to shoot this egg. Then I jump, grab the emblem. And land. The time on the clock is 4393, which, if you look at the uh, timer at the end here, it's hard to do this because it won't let me see the frames while I'm doing the frame advance. Here, let's just do this. 
it is a 4396. So I guess one more frame than 4393. Uh, if you want to see this part in real time, we'll do that. Um, where did I have it before? We were just recovering here, right? Okay. So I dash around the right side, bounce, roll, go for the instant recovery, don't get it. Adjust my camera, do the dash, or the, you know, skip recovering by doing the roll and the jump here. Long jump, throw the egg away, grab the emblem, and I'm done. Uh, so that's, you know, analysis of the 7.6 IL. Um, obviously beatable, right? Any IL is, is beatable. Um, but it would require, you know, a lot of time, I think, to beat it. It's a pretty solid IL overall. Um, just things like jumping around the a little gate that's on top of the green edge and also uh, instant recovering on the bottom of the slide and maybe doing the ending better a few frame perfect jumps on the slide portion maybe that other strat that I mentioned on the slide portion rolling uh, over that one hoop uh, you know there's there's a few areas for improvement Definitely enough to get it to a 42, at, you know, 42 XX. Um, if you were to combine it all together, uh, it would be difficult, I would think, to get it to a 41, unless you were an absolute, you know, legend at this video game. But I think there's still room for improvement for sure. Um, you know, and, and this video should sort of help, I guess, foster that um, and make sure that people know kind of what to look out for, what they should be trying to do, what potential strats we know of that aren't already